Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Citra the 3DS emulator. Once you have it downloaded and extracted to a folder named Citra or whatever you choose to call it, open it up and make sure you have a ROMs folder with games on it that you legally own like me. I cannot tell you where to get 3DS games because that's illegal and I would never do anything illegal. Next. If you're using a nightly build, you'll have to open the nightly folder and find Citra-QTEXE. Open that up. And here is the ROM folder games. That's why you need a ROMs folder so they can know where to look for the games at once you set that up. And then go to emulation and configure. And then go down to controls. And if you're using a controller or a keyboard and mouse, Make sure you map your buttons to the keys or buttons that you want to use on your controller or keyboard and mouse. Then make sure you click OK. And we are ready to load up a game to play. I'm going to mute my mic right now so you can all enjoy the sounds.
man, that is a test of the Citra emulator for the 3DS. As you can see, there are some issues with certain games, such as stuttering when the screen goes to black, and the music speeding up and then going down and then leveling itself out. I've been trying to fix this for years on different versions. There is no fix for certain games. I hope you all enjoyed the video. We are trying to get to 4,000 hours before October 1st when our hours reset to zero. We need 2,900 more. If you all could please subscribe and go to our playlist that has all of our videos in one and play it, share it, like it, send it to your friends. It would really mean the world to us to try and get monetized for our hours reset on October 1st. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you on the next emulator tutorial video.